Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we learned dragon riding. It was a lot of fun. And then, the Ruby Life Fools got attacked by Razgath and her army of dragons and elementals. We fought against them for a bit, and then we witnessed an epic cinematic where Alexstrasza and Razgath fought against each other. At the end, Razgath won, but showed mercy on Alexstrasza because she wants Alexstrasza to witness her destroy the world that supposedly she created. So we'll see what happens with that. Now we have to go meet Major Domo over here. And I think we'll do that. We'll continue the story. We can always come back and uh, do all these quests and check them out. But I kind of want to continue the story. I'm interested to see what happens here. So, so hopefully we can dragon ride over there. I'm at least going to try to. So we'll jump... Do, should we do the jump or should we just drop down? I think the jump takes away a vigor charge. Actually, I probably should have jumped. Whatever. We just want to keep the momentum. Yeah, we're going pretty fast, actually. Should we go under? Yeah, let's go under. And are we here? What's up here? My queen, you took a mighty blow. I will call for aid. That was awesome. I like dragon riding, man. It's like one of the coolest things they've had in a long time. All right, so we're, what are we doing here? So we got to go here. That's oh, a bronze timekeeper. We went to the wrong, went the wrong way. It's just over here, right? Looks like I'm not the only one who enjoys slaying mortals. One of you should teach this killer a lesson. The heck's talking I like that? So there's Raytheon, there's Alex Straza. And she's looking a little beat up. We, called a strong we must protect, protect our queen while she recovers. Check in with the Major Dormo. Raytheon, you have my gratitude. Your aid was unexpected. Yeah, he came in and saved the but day. Appreciated. This was an honor to stand with you, my queen. I trust your flight will now assist us in claiming the Obsidian Citadel from the Jaradin. Of course we will. <laughs> after we see to the safety of the eggs. Surely they are secure now that Razagath has been driven away. Oh, you do not know her as I do, young one. She is an unpredictable foe. For now, we must remain at the life pools and safeguard our future. Our future? Or yours? The Obsidian Citadel was built to defend all of the Dragon Isles. You cannot abandon the legacy of my flight to the hands of our enemies. I would have expected you to care more for the protection of helpless eggs, Rathian. Stay then. Tend to what matters most to your flight, and I will save what matters most to mine. She couldn't even help him out a little bit. No compromise there. I serve my queen. He must protect her. Oh yeah, yeah. Triumph. I could not rest until the eggs were safe. This is a relief. Thank you, Trevoker. I will await you. Okay. I will listen. These eggs represent a new generation of dragon kind. They must be protected and fostered, yet my heart aches, and I worry for Rathian. I fear his stubborn de determination will lead to folly. You have been a trusted friend over the years, Trevoker. Perhaps you can go in my place and help him. Seek him out at the Obsidian Bulwark, and please watch over him. There are so few of his flight left. Treasure, please find Rathian. He will need your aid if we are to renew the Obsidian Oathstone.
Yeah, I, I kind of don't understand why she wouldn't help Rathian, because... You know, the Black Dragonflight, they're, like, going extinct almost, you know what I mean? But I wonder what the... What dragons come out of those eggs? Maybe it's all the flights, right? I assume she's. Those are not just red dragon flight eggs. And we'll have to see. Should probably fly over there. I haven't done soar in a while. Or is it over up here? I have gathered the Black Talon and we are preparing to take back the Obsidian Citadel. Your presence on this mission is most welcome. There's the Skill Commander and the formidable soldiers. The Obsidian Citadel may hold secrets of my people's past. I would not miss a chance to reclaim it. Is there something you wish to discuss? Ah, champion, your arrival is most fortuitous. With you here now, my plan will certainly succeed. Never let your guard down. What do you have to report? Provoker, it is good to see you again. Rathian aided us after we awakened from our long stasis, and now it is our turn to help him. But first, there are things you must know. After we left the Reach, I was granted visions by Nosdormu, the Timeless One. He showed me many truths about the, the dragons, Neltharion's fate, and our people's origins. Let me tell you of the things I have seen. You must hear them for yourself. Stay true. There is so much more to this world than Neltharion taught us. So many truths we must discover for ourselves. Tell me of the Drakthir's origins. So well, this should be good. Nostromo, wait! You have led me through all these moments in time. Yet now you ask me to guide you? There is a blind spot in my vision. Of a time before Naltharion's corruption. And I believe it centers upon you. I must know why. Seek him out in your memory. It was my honor to command a battalion. We executed Neltharion's will precisely. Our devotion and discipline were unmatched. A Titan artifact? That must be the source of your unity. This was an ancient magic that bound you to his will. Would you not sacrifice yourselves at his whim? We were soldiers. There were many threats to the world. And here was the greatest. The Primalists. That is Razageth, the Storm Eater. One of the leaders of the Primalist Rebellion. He struck without warning, without honor. And I lost many friends this day. We fell back. Regrouped. Then, everything became jumbled, confused. The artifact destroyed, and the order magic which had united the Drakthir was dispelled. How then was Razageth defeated? <laughs> Why 
Why were we imprisoned? Why did we sleep for so long? If he could no longer control the Drakthir, he would have deemed you a risk. No. We laid down our lives for him. He was proud of us. Why would he... Stop this sand! I cannot see! Because you do not want to. Yet you can only become more than you are if you confront your past. away. Forgot we even existed. It would have been kinder to simply destroy us. I am sorry, my young friend. We had to know the truth. But do not despair. I now believe that Neltharion locked you away because of what you might become. What we might achieve free of his control. And now, you are free. This world has much to offer, and you will have a part to play in the events to come. You spoke of an ancient enemy's return. It is Razageth and the Primalists. That is why we were awakened. It seems that Neltharion yet had a purpose for you, but he is gone. You must decide which path you will take, which story you will tell. My story will be my own. To save the ducks. <laughs> that was kind of cool. It's pretty good. Well, now we know how uh, the Drakthir got put into stasis. And it's because, uh, I guess he was afraid of what would happen if they, you know, had free will. I wonder what old god he worked with, though, to, I guess, fight against Razageth. Maybe Nazoth? There is much to be done. I am ready to serve. Lessons from our past. Now you know the truth, wins. Trevoker. The past is the past. Now we must look out for one another. For all drags here. We will find our fate. There's so much more to this world. Oh yeah, right. Best plans and intentions. With honor. Attacking the Jaradin, controlling the Obsidian Citadel, will no be no easy task. Even with Raytheon and his Black Talon forces, this will be a fierce battle. Raytheon may be confident, but I am not certain. Perhaps we can speak to those helping to plan the strategy and see if we can find any room for improvements. Stay true. I have been expecting you. Though my forces may seem small compared to the Jardin, they are well trained and prepared to die for me if necessary. It's a lot like, uh, you know, his father. Until next time. For years, I have fostered the Black Talon, teaching and encouraging them to pursue the same heights you have reached. They may not have achieved the same lofty goals as yourself, but they are accompanied in their own right. They've made me proud. Each would be honored if you test their skills. I think you will see some of, some of yourself in them. The Black Dragonflight will be redeemed. Years of searching, and there it stands. My legacy. Oh, this guy. This guy looks badass. 
Once you've finished your assessment, we'll begin the assault. I'm going to, to assess his army. We got some Kul Tirans working here. Alright, so I guess we'll repair our gear, why not? Do you have anything to sell? So we have some things to sell. I have to learn this. Subtle horns. Within the Obsidian Citadel lies the forge of the Earth Warder. It can craft powerful weapons only dreamt of by mortal blacksmiths. Tell me about the weapons of the Citadel. The Earth Warder's forge created obsidian seared armor and weapons. A, dra kin, a dragon kin equipped with such was a fair match for a hundred mortal soldiers. We must reignite the flames of the forge so we can use its power again. Thank Some you for the information. Some of those crafted weapons have surely fallen into Jaredin hands. They can be used against us. That's not good. It is an honor to be in the presence of such an esteemed ally of the Black Prince. Dragon Isles are rife with ancient knowledge. Will you aid me in cataloging the history of the Obsidian Citadel? What has your research found? For dragon kind, the walls of the Obsidian Citadel have stood strong for thousands of years. With that kind of strength, there is no way the Jaradin could have attacked it head on. I suspect the Jaradin have instead used their elemental magic to crack the earth beneath the citadel, entering from within Nelthoris, the obsidian fortress. If the walls of the citadel are built to withstand the Jaradin, they'll surely prove a challenge for us as well. This will only aid the Jaradin defending there. Well, it seems like they have a lot of advantages. We serve once more. Now we have to test some black talent here. Good fortune. It is an honor to serve the Black Prince. I'm here to test your combat skills. Do not lose faith. Let's see if I can one shot him. No, I can't. This has been a valuable lesson. <laughs> yeah, you need to do more than just, you know, white hit. They should give him some abilities other than just like attack you like that. Let us begin. It's an honor to serve the Black Prince. I'm here to test your combat so skills. Be so be it. Shit, troll. She got rocked. I wonder where another one is. The Shaldorai stand strong. The Shaldorai will never pretty be much all say the person. same thing. I'll try this this time though. We'll do rank one fire breath. Seems I have room for improvement. <laughs> that one's a little confident. Our destiny is upon us. Greens of Ogre, I can assist you in recovering lost companions. 
rope pet leash. Adds this toy to your toy box. I guess we'll buy it. Why not? Stay strong for Soromar. I like to heal and revive my battle pets. Oh, this Together, is for battle pet trainer. That's cool. Forgot about battle pets. I swear they could have done a lot more with it. They could add like gyms. But they literally could have made every new WoW expansion like a new Pokemon game. I know that's a lot of work. But they could they should have like eight new gyms each new expansion. Hello. It'd be amazing. My strategies come from my ancestors, the great warriors who fought the Mogu for generations in Pandaria. May we review the battle plans. My best strategies have created a plan that should have a high probability of success with sufficient forces. But please review our plan. Your opinion is highly valued, companion. May the mists protect you. Is this their plan? Let's review the plan. Fao is right. The plan is sound. But I fear we lack the forces to execute it successfully. True. Greetings. What you doing here? Shadra be watching. That may be more than you can handle. <laughs> Guess they just don't know who you are. The thing is, they shouldn't know. Like my character just like just came out of stasis. But I guess they assume every other character is like this amazing hero that's like slayed every like everybody in WoW. Well. Hello. From the Lich King all the way to the jailer. It is an honor to serve the Black Prince. Goodbye. Patience. Patience. I will accept this challenge. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Well met. Looks like you could all use some resources. There's a saying for this survival. Why is this guy attacking? Who is this guy? City and protector. Oh, so I attacked that blue guy. That horde guy. I heard rumors you were here. Don't chase me, dude. Stop chasing me. Hey, dirty warlock. I'm out of range. He's trying to dot me up. What a piece of crap. I am out of range. <laughs> that dirty freaking warlock. That was nice. It's just like classic, guys. The warlocks. Oh, man. Just put huck a couple dots on you and then just run away. That was all set up by him. What a genius. Stood in my AoE on purpose so I would get attacked. That was such a, that was so, a solid troll. That was good. It's very very smart move there. I believe I could be of some help. So that's why I keep war mode on so I can see all this stuff. For the assault. He's gonna come back. You gotta watch out though. Keep a low profile. How many more do we have to go? We've got an undead one here. Let's see what the undead says. I have much to learn. That's not something that Undead would say. Maybe. They're usually pretty arrogant. Do you trust me? Alright, sharp practice. I believe the Black Talons are prepared for anything. Learn from the past. Look to the future. I think we have a few more. 
Gotta consult one more person. Ahoy! There he is. Anything interesting? I've done a full survey of the forces occupying the Obsidian Citadel. What have you observed? It is best you see the size of their defensive force for yourself. So many. We wow. do not have the forces to break through those defenses. Oh, the Jardin are badass. Well, we're gonna have to uh, hit them hard at the start. Again, champion. I see. I shall consider your evaluation carefully, of course. And I will consider your advice. I value your judgment. You are correct. Our forces are few in number. What's this guy doing? Trying to but push forget, me off? We also have myself. I am an incalculable advantage. And I will not be denied. They attacked me. Legacy. Are you serious? That's so funny. I can't fly away. I hate this. It's so stupid. He can use a CC. But I can't. What levels this guy? 70? Okay, this guy's gonna kill me. He's pushing me back. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna fly down like this. Damn it. I'm getting trolled by 70s. See, that doesn't make sense. Why can he inca incapacitate me like that? Just because it doesn't do damage? Does this do damage? It's just a. It just pushes you. That's why I thought it would work, right? That was kind of funny, though. This is like a, a trolling spot. It's good to know. This looks pretty cool, this view here. Stand before the Black Prince. Talent Strike. With your help, my Look Black Talent Assassins will cut down the Jard in defending the outer perimeter. Mark any targets with a small stun bomb, and they will come to your aid. Proceed quickly and eliminate anything that may hinder your advance. Never let your guard From what down. we have observed, Jardin society is built on strength. The strongest serve as examples for others to fight all the harder. Among the forces below are three examples of the mightiest Jardin, and your targets. You, Travoker, will personally eliminate them. This should deal a devastating blow to their morale. Until next time. Black Talon, the moment we have prepared for is at hand. To the Obsidian Citadel! The Jardin will fall before us, and the Citadel will be ours so much confidence yet the numbers do not lie i fear the worst all right here we go is this where we need to go yeah right over here be careful, champion. These giants are masters of flame and won't hesitate to turn Who is this guy? Ash. Here's Sir Gigra. Oh, that didn't do anything. We interrupted that. Can I bomb him? Yeah, I get stunned.
This one's protected by this, like, giant flame mammoth. Wolfus the Molten Slain. This will be kind of tough. Should probably move this bomb thing, but whatever. Stun him there. We'll use everything we got. It's actually doing a lot of damage. Up to death. Well, that trap will do a lot of damage. I kind of want to move that bomb. I'm going to go to edit mode quick. Don't know what that is. Boss frame? HUD tooltip? Encounter bar, extra abilities? No, is that what it is? Yeah. Put it like right there. Oh, here we go. Gotta do something here before they spawn again. A big heal there. Stunnies all stuns all enemies for four seconds, and this tells uh, some assassins to assist us. Oh, there's another one. Okay, let's try this here. Go. Got some, some uh, assisting us. There's Orphus again. Oh man, it's a lot of damage. I must get closer. Cooldown's pretty low on that. Gotta get out of that. I gotta fly away and heal myself. I think he's healing. He's attacking all the rest. And they finished him off. And we can skin this mammoth. Nice. Let's 
Seems like they're all elites, too. Like, every single one of these guys. Except for these ones over here. Say we gotta go over here. Modak Flame Split Saint. I wonder if that's in this area. Could just soar over there. Hello, hello. We'll stun him after this. We should be okay. My flame flickers. Oh. We summon this lava elemental. You'd think Flame Breath, like, wouldn't hurt this thing. Because it's a fire elemental. Alright, so we slayed them all, so I guess we'll turn this quest in. Is there something you wish to discuss? No time for heroes. You've proven yourself the he true hero of the day, Trevoger. The black dragon Gun, we're getting gear. I should start putting it on. At 250 right there. Do we have any more, like, loot? 236, not too great. This neck could be good, no? Not that great. How about this finger? Yeah, we pretty much got all the, the gear we need on. We meet again. Now we just have to get rid of these defenses here. And then we should be able to move on. Our advance is pushing them back. All that remains is to breach the gates. The next battle will no doubt be fierce, but our courage and determination will overcome their greater numbers. I am counting on your exceptional skills to help lead the troops to victory. We shall begin the assault when you are ready. On your signal, champion. All right, let's do it. I'm ready to begin the assault. Learn from the past. Look. What was that? Is that Alex Straza? Oh, they're retreating. Who is that?
Sabellian, heir of Neltharion. And you are? Rathian, heir of Neltharion. <laughs> what is and I've never heard of you. They're brothers? Likewise. We'll discuss this later. That was funny. That's interesting. I wonder who that I was wondering who that was. So it looks like uh this should be an easy fight with both of their forces together. So what do we do here? City and Citadel entered. I assume this is a dungeon. And we have to slay the forces here, okay. These are beasts. That's uh, one. We actually got into a dungeon. It took me like over an hour to get into this. Should I enter it? Yeah, I think we will. Why not? And we'll finish off this uh, battle with Sibelian and Rathion later. But I, but I am going to uh, call this episode here, guys. And the next episode will be too deeply. Uh, doing Ensure this Ruby Light Pools dungeon. On these sacred grounds. But as always, no thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.